so in our highlights today uh, we're going to start from uh, the Manchester uh, Cathedral and then we're going to head uh, to the Victoria station but passing by the um, uh, AO and then we we'll got past the, uh, the football museum uh, as we head uh, towards the uh, one uh, Angel Square where we have all the new uh, building that has taken place here in Manchester. Well, uh, welcome back to my to my channel. Uh, as I said in my previous video, uh, if by the time you're watching this one, uh, you have watched it already. Uh, we are doing a series of recordings here in the city of Manchester. A wonderful uh, a Sunday morning. Uh, it's cool and calm though there's uh, some traffic and people are awake already. Um, it's an easy day to, to record beautiful weather as opposed to other European countries where it's literally burning here. We are just at about 14 degrees. So um, uh, this other one, uh, this video is going to start right by the uh, Manchester Cathedral, which is right behind me. All right, I'm just in the gardens of the Manchester uh, Cathedral, which is right uh, opposite the uh, uh, the football museum, which we have seen in the previous video, which is that building right there uh, in the end, the glass building. Let me see if you can see it. It's just covered by the uh, the, the trees, the branches over there. So uh, yes, accompany me, and uh, hope you enjoy uh, as usual. And uh, if it's your first time in the channel, please consider subscribing. Watch the videos, as I usually say. Give them a thumbs up, uh, so that and share them with uh, family and friends, so that this channel can. Can grow. Uh, it is always a pleasure having you around with me. Thank you. So Manchester Cathedral, officially known as uh, the Cathedral and, and Collegiate Church of St. Mary, St. Denis and St. George, has history uh, dating back to the uh, 7th century. With a wooden structure initially, um, it was later rebuilt and expanded in a Gothic style uh, during the 12th 13th and 15th centuries. The cathedral endured damage during the uh, English Civil War and underwent significant restoration afterwards. Throughout uh, the years, it played a vital role in Manchester religious and cultural life. Uh, notably, John Byron, uh, the poet and hymn writer, was consecrated there in 1749. Uh, during the Industrial Revolution, Manchester experienced growth and uh, the cathedral's importance uh, persisted. And then afterwards, in, um, in the 20th century, it underwent uh, restorations after the World War II and introduced modern elements. Today, uh, the cathedral stands in an iconic landmark, um, or as an iconic landmark, representing Manchester's rich uh, heritage and serving as a place of worship for uh, community or and community gatherings. So this, um, on, the, on, the, on the left hand side, we've just seen, this is the AO Arena. Uh, located in Manchester, uh, United Kingdom, it has a rich history as a uh, prominent entertainment and sports venue. Originally known as the Manchester Evening News Arena when it opened in 1995, it quickly became a popular destination for concerts, shows, and uh, hosted numerous uh, world-renowned artists and uh, bands as well as major sporting events like basketball and ice hockey. The Victoria Station, which is right in front of us now, um, is, is in Manchester, England, where is where we are. And it has a rich history dating back in, uh, to its opening in uh, 1844. Originally designed by George Stevenson, it served um, as a vital hub for Lancashire and Yorkshire railways. On 
then afterward it went under uh, renovations, notably 1909, uh, which gave it this stunning Edwardian, uh, Edwardian structure that we see uh, today. And that has made it uh, uh, a stunning a landmark here in Manchester that everybody comes to uh, see when they visit the town. So we are going to head uh, to the new area where uh, we have uh, the newest towers in town. Um, uh, in well, not not quite new, but we've got some some of the towers are very very new, and there's a spe spectacular structure there uh, on uh, one cent uh, on one um, angel square. That is still the Victoria Station. It's it's big. It's massive. Sorry, it's been very windy today, so you can uh, you can tell uh, from from the recording. Now we're going to head to the uh, Angel Square, uh, which is right at the end of, uh, of this street. And uh, then we're going to take um, advantage of the fact that we're in this area to see all the new towers and the developments that have taken place uh, in this area, changing um, the face of uh, the area uh, forever. Just like I say, Manchester is changing not uh, for a short while it's changing forever um, so that structure that we're seeing in front of us is in uh, one uh, angel square and it has it has a lot of history to uh, uh, to tell um, during its short uh, lifespan span it was completed in uh, 2013 and it's a 15 uh, story uh, building which houses or is the uh, headquarters for the cooperative uh, group. Its circular design and glazed exterior uh, not only offers a stunning visual appeal but also maximizes natural light and reducing energy consumption. Uh, at the end there we see uh, all the new, uh, the new towers uh, which, um, you know, present uh, glass facades and uh, uh, slick designs and these new towers add a fresh dimension to Manchester uh, changing uh, or Manchester's ever changing uh, skyline. They not only provide office spaces but also upscale residential units and recreational office urban areas offering a balanced lifestyle to, uh, for the city dwellers. Coming back to uh, the cooperative uh, headquarters inside the building, um, it actually fosters a collaboration on um, an environmental responsibility. It is designed uh, to uh, to be energy efficient, incorporating features like rainwater harvesting, uh, solar panels, and underground source heat pump system. It's complete. Apart from being beautiful. Uh, with a very, very original structure. Uh, it is a very practical and modern building. Uh, putting into practice all these um, uh, energy saving uh, technologies and um, houses. Uh, one of the biggest uh, companies here in, uh, in the UK that got even a big supermarket chain. and the surroundings are equally uh, beautiful. So these new developments down here uh, not only offer a new way of living and, uh, and working uh, in, in Manchester, but also uh, contribute to the city's economy and uh, cultural diversity. From sustainable innovation on one angel square on uh, to the contemporary allure uh, of the new uh, towers. Manchester's architect architectural landscape is ever evolving, reflecting the city's progressive spirit.
I hope uh, you're enjoying uh, the journey through Manchester's the architectural marvels. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned in for more exciting uh, content as we head uh, towards another another area uh, just across uh, the street. But before we head there, another closer look of these new towers and at the end there the round structure or cylindrical structure that is our hotel indigo it's been there for some few years now a beautiful structure as well so now we are uh, heading to the blackfriars which is a place that uh, we have been uh, before and presents equally beautiful uh, structures that are coming up with uh, changing the skyline as well as you can see in front of us massive towers uh, that are equally beautiful and this one here upon completion is going to be a beautiful beautiful structure and they're built right next to uh, uh, one of the most important rivers here in uh, in Manchester. I don't know why everywhere I go, I find that river. It follows me. <laughs> um, yeah, so before we end uh, this video, we're going to cross this uh, bridge here uh, underneath. Uh, which flows the river Arwell that we have uh, mentioned in most or in various videos already okay and I did mention the other day that uh, it actually uh, crosses Manchester so you are um, most likely to cross it on one or, or you know or more spots as you travel and that's it and you have this building on this <laughs> side that is just on the edge of the river and look at that tower the size of it and the fact that it's built on the edge of a river. Crazy, isn't it? Now on on this side we've had we have this other red block. It's been here for ages, you can uh, you can see because it's not the modern building that or it doesn't look like the modern buildings that uh, uh, they're coming up with. Um, but the red block our brick is as typical of uh, the uh, the older buildings and this one sits right on the bank of the river if the river busts its bank uh, part of it will be actually inside the water crazy but anyways um so here we are and uh, this is uh you know behind the blackfriars we saw these buildings i think uh in uh, in a previous video but in um from from a totally different angle and i wanted to come to this area so that i could show you uh what is going on here and what views you can have from this end of manchester down there and blackfriars are uh, on this other side beautiful Uh, I love this area. It is very quiet as well, uh, so it is a perfect area uh, to live. And we've been here now. This is Blackfriars uh, Road, where we've seen a few of these structures in one of the of the videos. Um, and you know what? Its beauty is always stunning. The vegetation that covers this area, and then these inviting structures um, are always a plus so now we're going to walk all the way down uh, to uh, finish up our video today which i hope you have really really enjoyed and as i always say is that you've learned a bit more about uh, about manchester Please uh, do not forget to subscribe. The channel's name goes by the name of Hajways. Do not forget to subscribe, watch the videos, give them a thumbs up, 
and mostly share them with friends and family so that this um, uh, channel can grow uh, bigger and and bigger and we can bring you more and more stuff uh, to enjoy and learn uh, be able to learn from always a pleasure you know to uh, to have you around accompanying me now we're heading towards the uh, the chapel uh, the chapel street where uh, we're going to end our our video our video today it's been a lovely day lovely day and I've made some few discoveries that well I didn't share with you but I've made some few discoveries uh, that I, I will definitely be sharing with more people uh, who either live here in Manchester or who are coming to visit Manchester and would want me to take them for for a walk beautiful Well, so uh, we've come to the end of this adventure today and uh, well, we've taken you through uh, different sites in the city and uh, we are ending this uh, video in this area here which is next to the Trinity Way which is behind our uh, back, that bridge over there and uh, this is actually very very close to where we were uh, last week at the Blackfriars. It's been a pleasure and I uh, hope you have enjoyed as I always say and I uh, will always uh, welcome you back and have the pleasure to show you more and more so kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel which goes by the name of Hajj Ways by the way and uh, watch them videos give them a like and share them with friends and family it's been a massive massive pleasure thank you for accompanying me today thank you